This home in Victoria uses the natural environment to its advantage. So, Kate, we're in beautiful Black Rock. You know I grew up in this area. I know, so it's amazing. like coming home for me. I love Bayside. Talk me through this home. Like, it's very different and you've been inspired by Art Deco, clearly. Is that your preference of style? Yes. So, basically, we wanted a modern interpretation of an Art Deco home yeah. um, that was functional and practical, but really beautiful. Three kids, yes. so I guess that was a real influence on the design in terms of functionality and storage and things like that. That's it, lots yeah. of storage, but lots of fun. Oh, I just noticed the numbers, actually. Oh. <laughs> Even the numbers, it's very Gatsby, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, actually that font is called Gatsby. Oh, is that? How funny. <laughs> Our old house that we lived here for 10 years, um, was it was dark, no one ever came over, no one wanted to hang out at our house. Whereas now we have kids and families here all the time. They just love it. They're in the pool, they're in the basement, they're just running around having a ball. So this is the dream home where you plan on staying. So this is a good another 20 years, you're saying. Plus, yeah. this is it. So this street was our dream street. Now we've built our dream home on the dream Amazing. street. Amazing. Well, let's, let's have a look. All right. What an entrance. That staircase is incredible. So I knew we wanted something really sleek and elegant, but it had to have a beautiful curve. So I had one stair maker that I knew would be able to do it. And so he did an amazing job and the steel handrail was just beautiful. And he has pulled it off. Let me tell you, architecturally, what a masterpiece. Like, I think some people overlook things like that as artwork. And, you know, I think when they're done well, like, what a first impression. And it really has kind of set the tone for what the rest of your house looks like. And what an abundance of natural light. I love how you've got the, the highlight windows up there. That's a really great idea. Um, but all of these, the full height glazing is just beautiful. Yeah, it makes such a difference. And like with the light coming in, in the morning from that angle and then really pulling all the way around and the sun on the pool, it's just beautiful. I love also that the orientation of the pool is in the middle of the house because typically a lot of people just put it in the backyard but that's quite creative and then you've got that amazing basement area with that highlight window into the pool. Like what a party trick that would be. I can just imagine the kind of parties you guys are having here. It's a Gatsby style house inside and out, isn't it? The Art Deco theme was part of Kate and Pat's vision. Uh, so working with that and I guess adding value to it, uh, challenging some of the ideas uh, and working with Pat and Kate to, I guess, blend in the modern contemporary with the Art Deco. It was a really a joint project. Quite quickly it became apparent to me that, that we were working on what could be a landmark type project and that this building would be potentially one that would be uh, known throughout the community uh, and that was really exciting for, for me and my team. So one thing that we have to be aware of when we're building houses these days is energy efficiency. This is a large home. Yeah. You've got a lot of windows happening, the large pool, the jacuzzi, lights. Was that a huge thing in the design process to consider? Yeah, absolutely. So we wanted to keep it as energy efficient as possible. And one of the things we did was put a huge solar array on the roof um, and a battery. So, and we really changed how we use our electricity. So we make sure that we do use um, the washing machine, the dishwasher, etc. during the day when we've got solar coming in. And my husband loves it. He's on the app checking how many kilowatts we've got, how much is going to the battery, where we're at. You know, so it's, it's great because we feel like we're as self-sustainable as possible. 
I mean, having met the hive owners, they're awesome. They're like us, they're absolute kids. They love the technology and they've got three kids. So it's a big family. It's a young family as well. So you can absolutely see that over time, their electricity demands are just going to increase. So really for them, solar power was an absolute necessity. And not just having solar power, but what else can we add to this? You know, we've got energy efficiency, we've taken advantage of our environment with the double glazing and with the LED lighting, but what else can we add? What I love about these guys is they've got a whopping solar power system on the roof and they've gone for battery storage. And I know just around the corner, it's an electric vehicle. If you're looking for your future home, certainly come to our website. We are a one-stop shop. You know, we literally will tick every box in terms of introducing the latest technology, and especially with advances in technology, we'll be introducing new concepts, new ideas. I believe in a zero carbon future. I would love to see us using nothing but renewable energy for absolutely everything. So that means pulling no more resources from the planet, just using what's available to us in terms of solar, in terms of wind and hydro. That's what our legacy is, energy matters. That's what my legacy is. If we can leave the planet in a better place than we found it, we've done our job. Now, we mentioned the basement, which is one of my favourite parts of your house. I love that window that pops out to the pool. I think that's such an amazing design feature and something that feels like it's out of a movie, doesn't it? So Pat's managed to score his home office down there, which is quite convenient next to the wine cellar, I think. <laughs> I love it, I think it works. And I think that the whole design, internally, externally, it all speaks so well to each other. And I think that your kids are so lucky to be yes. able to enjoy a space like this. And you too, you know, you must feel so proud that this is, you know, your home. I think that's a huge thing. We spend so much time at home and if COVID and lockdown taught us anything, it's that you need to love the space that you're in. So big tick from me, I think you've done an amazing job. Thank you.